what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel now today we're going to be working on the 1997 super impreza and if you haven't seen the video for that previously i would recommend going to check it out i'll make sure to leave a link for you guys above now getting back to the car we were able to make a lot of progress from the last time that we worked on it but there's still a little bit of things that we need to do to make it to look good but i mean besides that it's looking pretty awesome and I'm pretty stoked to see what it'll come and, and look like in the next couple of videos. But before we do that, let's get to work. All right, so let me give you guys a quick zoom in on what I'm talking about. So as you can see, the hood doesn't line up straight because this fender is punched in right here and there's something going on with the hood hinge at the top, which is over here. And I'm not really completely sure what that is, but I'm assuming we could take like a flathead screwdriver or a chisel and push this down so that this will come back in its place and line up correctly. So that's what we'll do first. Oh my god, that's a huge spider. Okay, after messing around with the fender, we took out all the bolts here, and we were able to straighten this out just a little bit, because all we really need is we just need the corner light and the headlight to fit perfectly. Um, you know, as this is a budget car, I, I don't really care too much about it being 100% perfect, and I know that this fender corners is gonna be really tough to pull out and you know down the road I might just have to replace it all together but I just want to see if the lights will actually fit um, in the state that it's in right now so I'm just gonna keep messing around with this corner over here and hopefully this will also help with bringing the hood back down and that's broken great just my luck bit better but as you can see this fender isn't in the greatest shape and and I know that either down the road I'm gonna need to fill this and paint the whole fender to make it look nice or we could just keep it because it's a beater so what I'll try to do next is I'll try and put the headlight and see if it'll line up now this is straight but I haven't put the bolts back in we'll just see if, if it'll fit even without the bolts back in and then I can sneak them from the back once I just have the headlight in next is I'm going to take all the fender bolts that hold the fender at the top and basically what I'm going to do is just loosen them I'm not going to completely take them out but in hopes of doing that it should be able to give us the little bit of wiggle room for us to make the fender go this way Probably not because it has to fight me to the end. I think I got it. <laughs> yes. Woohoo! <laughs> yes. Okay. You could just buff that one out, right? There's one broken headlight. I do feel a little robbed that I paid $16 for this. Now, you're looking at it and on camera, you're like, oh yeah, it looks okay. But look at this, it's in, it's in terrible shape. It's all cracked. It's gonna turn into a swimming pool if I put it on this car. Oh, and I broke it. 
it. God damn it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what? Come on. I just need this last little tab. Let's see how it looks now. Okay, so here's our grill, and I'm hoping, just hoping that it's gonna fit. <laughs> oh man, it looks good. What do you guys think? I'm super stoked on the way it came out. It looks really good. Now I know this corner is definitely gonna need to be filled or something needs to be done with it, but at least the hood lines up on both sides. The light looks good. The grill, we were able to salvage, even though I'm a little disappointed this little piece right here is missing, but that's not the end of the world. All the lights work. And I mean, it's starting to look like a car again. I think I'm gonna end the video here, but thanks for watching. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the next video, we're gonna start getting to work on cleaning this car. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a really dirty car. So I'll see you guys in the next one.